Milkmaid Braid. Let's start. Hi. So the first thing you need to do is brush out your hair. Use my brush. I usually, when it's tangled, like to start at the bottom and then work my way up. It just helps with the knots. And it doesn't break your hair so much. Okay, so... Now you need to section your hair, so I'm just using my teasing brush, the back end of it. And just pretty much figure out where the middle is and work all the way down. And this doesn't have to be perfect. Obviously mine is not perfect. I didn't know it looked that bad. But anyways, so once you think it's about right, just separate it evenly as much as you can anyways. And start braiding at one of the sides. So this is just like a regular braid that you're going to do. And... You just separate three strands. It usually takes me a little while to figure out what three strands I'm going to do. But there it goes. So, regular braid, you know, bring the side strands over the middle strand. And you're going to do this all the way down. So once you're almost at the end, or as far down as you can get it, you need to tie it. And the smaller the band, the better, but I didn't have any small bands at the moment, so I'm just using the thinnest band I have. So once it's tied, what you're going to do is bring it over almost in the place that you would a headband. And I place it, place the end, a little bit behind my ear. So using bobby pins, figure out where that section's going to be and pin it. And there I go, checking that it's right. And the way that you pin it, just to make sure it's secure, is just make an X with your bobby pins. So... There's that one. Now we're going to do the second braid. And here I go again, trying to figure out what strands I'm going to use. And the reason it takes me a little bit longer than most people is that I have to figure it out in the way that it fits my layers. Because if not, I'll have a ridiculously short little strand. So here you're going to do the same thing, which is just braid all the way down. Crossing the sides over the middle, crossing the side strands over the middle again, and once you get to the bottom again as much as you can, I'm not going to tie it because I'm just going to secure it with the bobby pins and that should be enough, but if you're not comfortable with doing that, you could just tie it again with the rubber band, a hair band. But I'm just going to grab my bobby pins and I'm going to pin it into place. And basically this goes underneath the braid, the first braid, so that you can't see the ends. So there it is. I'm just making sure that it's secure, pushing it all the way in. And I'm going to use a couple more. Because we don't want this to come out. And I think that's about right. Now there's that little crazy hair sticking out. So I'm just going to pin that in. And any hairs that you have sticking out. It's pretty simple to correct it. Just with your bobby pins. Pin it back inside and you won't even be able to tell it's there. So 
So now all I'm doing is pulling out some of the strands to frame my face. I just think it looks a lot prettier, a lot more disheveled, more bohemian. And once I have it at about the place that I want, um, that's pretty much it. You're done. And if you have any mistakes, like here you can see the band. And I should have fixed that, but I didn't even notice it. But you can fix that just by putting it in a little bit more. And that's all. Hope you enjoyed. Pretty simple and perfect for summer day. Bye!